Hi there. Um, this is a bit of a fun video. Uh, I just wanted to kind of go over what's on my personal Switch. It's the console that I use the most next to the PlayStation 5. Um, I do have the Switch OLED. Um, sorry about the ring light glare. I don't really know what else to do about that. Uh, it needs, you know, I need the ring light on to have good lighting, but um, I do have the OLED. Oh, I do have the original Switch here. This is not the uh, upgraded one. The, 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 rev the revised one released them along with the better battery. This is the one from 2017. Um, actually, I got the one with the gray Joy-Cons, but I put the neon ones on there because my gray Joy-Cons are drift. Um, this one I don't really use um, because I don't... Uh, I, the only reason I... The only, Boy, well, the only reason I have for this is I don't have to switch, switch, get it. I don't have to switch the switches for uh, when I do streaming. Um, but that's really it. Um, and I don't even do that that often anymore. Um, in case anybody's wondering, here's a side by side. I'll turn it on. I'll turn each of them on. Um, just so you can see the side by side. Oops. Come on. Come on. See side by side. See, there's not much of a difference. Um, is the OLED worth it? Um, I don't really. I can't really justify that. Um, if you think it's worth it, uh, it's really only worth it if you do a lot of handheld play, and even then, it's barely worth it. Um, because there just isn't a lot different about it. I mean, the bigger screen, the OLED screen. I mean, that's great, but in a better battery life, barely. <laughs> um, Really, if you just if you just want to do it, a switch with uh, the kind of handheld, but mainly connected to a TV, I'd get the revised one of the original, with the better battery life. Uh, but this isn't a comparison video. This is what's on my personal switch. So I'm just gonna go over. It's quite loud. I'm gonna go over to the, this tab here. So if you can see, you can see I got YouTube there. I watch a lot of YouTube on this, believe it or not. Um, and that's because my projector that I have in my game room, I switch to a projector, uh, doesn't is not a smart projector, so I have to watch YouTube through uh, Switch. Super Mario Brothers Wonder, as you can see, um, I liked it. Um, I played a little bit of it. Um, again, it just came out, so I think I got to play a little bit more to really understand and not really understand, but uh, to really. What's the word I'm looking for? Appreciate it. That's a good word. I really gotta play a little bit more to appreciate it because right now for me, it's just another 2D Mario game. Um, but it's good. What I played is good. Um, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Um, I recently got back into it, but I recently got out of it again. Um, kind of on and off with Animal Crossing. When it first came out in 2020, I was like, there was nothing but Animal Crossing. Now I'm kind of on and off, but... Yeah, um, oh, I just realized how much we have a lot to go through. I mean, I should speed it up a little bit. Animal Crossing, um, sorry, I keep looking over there to see if there's a glare. Animal Crossing is fine. Um, I think New Leaf was way better on a 3DS. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Legends Arceus, um, uh, Pokemon, I guess I should say Pokemon Legends Arceus, in case no one knows what that means. <laughs> Actually, a really good game. I really like Legends Arceus. A really a step in the right direction. Um, and definitely a step in the right direction, but kind of botched in transition is a uh, Pokemon Violet. And I have Scarlet on there too. I'll just skip past that one when I get to it. Um, I have Scarlet and Violet. I like them. Like it's definitely a step in the right direction for the series. Uh, the problem is the, the, the it, it's just not optimized. It's terrible. Like glitches, crashes. I mean, it's it's a mess absolute mess it's a shame because the game is really good like like the gameplay and like the, how they did everything really cool and really good just botched tetris 99 um i like this game uh i uh i actually sunk a lot of hours into tetris 99 i'm really good at tetris i don't know the two by the horn or anything but it's like the one game i'm like pretty good at i'm uh I'm pretty all right. Um, I even bought the DLC for Tetris 99 because I'm like, no, I, I want, 
I want DLC. I don't know why I did, but I did. <laughs> uh, Pokemon Home, there's nothing really to say about that. It's just a transfer tool. Uh, Pokemon Sword, I had to open that for the transfer tool. Or to do something for the transfer tool because it was transferring sound in the scut to Violet. Um, home, uh, Sword. Sword is good. Um, not really great. I think Scarlet and Violet is way better in terms of, uh, in terms of actually running Sword and Shield way better. It's a classic. Literally. Uh, Clubhouse Games, 51 Worldwide Classics. Uh, I gotta say, I really, really enjoyed this game. Um, like, I really did. It's really a good game. Um, it definitely should have been a launch title or a pack-in for the Switch. Uh, I mean, you know, everyone was like, when the Switch came out, it was like, your what should have been a launch title was 1-2 Switch, and that game's horrible. Uh, but Clubhouse Games, I definitely think should have been a launch title. I think, not that the Switch isn't doing well, but I think in that launch window, Clubhouse Games is the launch title. That would have been good. <sighs> the Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. I don't even know if you can see the outline around it to see what I'm selecting. Um, I gotta do this video a little better next time if I do it again. Uh, but Tears of the Kingdom, I mean... Yeah, it's Tears of the Kingdom. I mean, the first game that went up to seventy dollars. Uh, well, I guess not the first. Elder Scrolls Five Skyrim Anniversary Edition on the eShop did. But um, is that a Tears of the Kingdom? Yeah, it's it's uh, it's Tears of the Kingdom. It's amazing. Let's get past uh, Scarlet. Um, Monopoly for Nintendo Switch. Actually, believe it or not, I have a lot of hours in this just because I like playing this uh, with like family and friends. It's genuinely a good time. It's actually a pretty good game on the Switch. Um, it doesn't run very well, believe it or not. It's Monopoly, but it doesn't run very well. Like it gets like 20 frames sometimes. Um, Nintendo 64 and Nintendo Switch Online. I do have the expansion pack for Switch or for Switch Online. I might cancel it just because I don't use it as often as I thought I would. And plus, I already bought the Mario Kart DLC. I mean, I don't know. I don't use it as often as I would. Maybe I'll keep it. We'll see. But yeah, um, they're, they're, I think they've really improved uh, the '64 library at least, and they're, and uh, with the addition of Game Boy or Game Boy Advance with the expansion pack, they gave us Game Boy. They give everyone else Game Boy. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say expansion pack worth it. I just might cancel because I don't use it as often. Uh, Elder Scrolls Five Skyrim. Um, yeah, it's Skyrim. <laughs> Zelda Breath of the Wild. Great game. Um, uh, just, great game. Fantastic. Um, I'll just, there's Game Boy. Um, that comes with the regular Switch and there's Game Boy Advance. It comes with this expansion pack. Octopath Traveler. I love this game. Octopath Traveler is really good. Um, the only thing I'll say about it is that if you stop playing for a little bit and try to go back to it, it's so hard to pick it back up because there's just so much story that you, you, you forget in that time. And that's exactly what happened to me. That's why I haven't finished it yet. Like you just forget everything. But great game, great art style. I think they're kind of doing it a little bit too much now, but Octopus Traveler, that's a good game. Uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Um, it's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. <laughs> Nothing much to say about that. It's Mario Kart. Um, Minecraft Sermon The Complete Adventures. Yes, I do own this. I do not have Season 2. Uh, season 2 is getting wildly expensive. and But so is uh, the first game. Uh, don't ask me how much I paid for it. Um, but yes, I do own it. Um, it was actually in a game store roleplay. It was, that's probably the most I've spent. Most I've spent on a Switch game. Period. Uh, Pokemon Unite, I did not like this game. Um, it's just another MOBA, and I don't really like MOBAs. I don't even know why I have it installed. Uh, I don't know why I have the Twitch app installed either, but I do. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, I think it's really good. I don't think it's very good on the Switch. Um, but I think it's a really good, really good Lego game. The Stanley Parable, Ultra Deluxe. I played this on stream years ago. No, maybe not. 
a little over a year. I don't know. But uh, Stanley Variable Ultra Deluxe, it's good. I like the Stanley Variable. Let's get to a game I don't like. Um, Nintendo Switch Sports. I didn't really like this at all. Um, it, was, it, was, it was okay, I guess. Not really that good. Um, I feel like it was just kind of unfinished at launch. And then they added more. Um, Mario and Sonic at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games, or is Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, Tokyo 2020, whatever you want to call it, um, it's fine. It's alright. Game that's not just alright is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Um, it's Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. <laughs> Whenever I do that, it's I don't really say much about it because everyone knows about it. Um, there's the Jackbox Party Pack Six. Well, we've got a couple more Jackbox games in here. It's just fun games to play at parties. Speaking of parties, Mario Party Superstars. Um, I think it's definitely the better. It's definitely the better. Um, Mario Party game on the Switch. Mario Party doesn't even compare. Uh, but it's fine. Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Um, very good. Um, I didn't finish it. You're going to hear that a lot. But yeah, it's good. Um, probably get so much more. Yeah, I mean, Kirby and the Forgotten Land. It's, 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 it's pretty good. Um, it's definitely a step in the right direction for... Um, the Kirby series. Yeah. Uh, Cadence of Hyrule, Cryptos and Necrodancer. Uh, this is the, believe it or not, the indie game that got Nintendo's blessing to use the Zelda franchise. I um, haven't played it yet. I do own the physical, but from what I've heard, great game. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Probably one of the most polarizing releases. Um, I personally love it. I think the mo I think the button controls really add. Um, to the value of the game. Um, yeah, it's, it's a really good game. I know they didn't change much going from coming from the Wii and they charged $60 for it, but it, it's good. It's a good game. Um, if you haven't played Skyward Sword, I highly recommend it. It's one of my favorite Zelda games, believe it or not. Uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, yeah, it's good. I mean, not much to say about the three of the greatest games of all time in one package. Uh, Big Brain Academy, Brain vs. Brain. It's fine. I played it for like 30 minutes. <laughs> Shovel Knight Treasure Trove. A really great game. Um, yeah, that was a good game. Good platformer. A game I don't like. Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. I do not like the Let's Go games at all. Um, I think they're really stupid. <laughs> I mean, there's a point where you'd be faithful to the original. But then there's, it gets to the point where it's like, all right, you're a little too faithful. <laughs> um, Drawful two, and it's the same, same as the, uh, it's a standalone version of a Jackbox game. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Um, I really, I really like that one as much as the party packs. PC Building Simulator. Uh, yeah, it's PC Building Simulator. It's pretty good. Um, Undertale. I own this digitally. Do not own the physical yet. Um. Yeah, it's good. I like Undertale. Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. I don't know. I like the Warriors games. I really liked, uh, I like Age of Calamity. The gameplay was there. I don't know about the story. It just it didn't grab me. <laughs> Leisure Suit Larry Wet Dreams, Wet Dreams Don't Dry. It's one of the our, our raunchy game. If anyone's familiar with the Leisure Suit Larry series, um, great series of games. Um, this was kind of the return to form. Yeah, it was okay. Uh, Pokemon Quest, not good. Um, played it for probably 10 minutes. I said, I've had enough. Uh, Lego Worlds, I actually picked this up in Kansas, or Walmart in Kansas, because it was the cheapest game there. And I said, yeah, why not? I like this game on the PC. Not good on Switch. Uh, Wonder Boy the Dragon's Trap. Um, this is a beautiful game. I don't really, I didn't play much of it, but I mean, the art style was gorgeous. Oh, there's Jackbox Party Pack 7. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. It was a good game. I like the Phoenix Wright games. Um, Super Mario 35. Uh, rest in peace. Uh, Poyo Poyo Tetris 2. It's Tetris with Poyo Poyo. Uh, there's a Persona 5 Strikers bonus content. Cool. Pac-Man 99, Pac 99. Rest in peace. 
Minecraft digitally. I don't even know why I bought this. I own like 17 copies of Minecraft. Car Mechanic Simulator. I don't even know why I bought this. Has been Hero Sex. <laughs> uh, Final Fantasy VII, the original. The digital on a, on a Switch. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, Elder Scrolls Blades. Sucks. Among Us on Switch. I don't even know why I bought this. It sucks. And it's fine. Uh, Mario Golf Super Rush. This sucks. <laughs> 75 Strikers. Haven't played it yet. I'm looking forward to it. I heard it was okay on Switch. Super Mario Party. It was fine until we got Mario Party Superstars. At that point, it's like, why do we go back to Super Mario Party? Uh, Vitamin Connection. Yeah, it's a limited run game. It's fine. Um, Metopia. I played a little bit of. Um, really, it's a game that you have to put you have to put a lot of time into it to actually enjoy it. And I wasn't it wasn't there for me. The original Poi Boy or Detris, great game. Trials of Mana, I heard that was not very good. See, so after I breeze, breeze through these, um, Fire Emblem Three Houses, I haven't played it yet, heard good things. Luigi's Mansion Three, I don't even know why I haven't played this yet. It's spooky season just happened, I didn't pop it in. Uh, good game though, heard great things. Collection of Mana, uh, yeah, I heard good things. <laughs> just kind of trying to breeze through things now. We're almost at the end actually. Uh, Super Mario Odyssey. Goes without saying, great game. Paper Mario the Origami King is not so great. Ew, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Paper Mario the Origami King is a step in the right direction for the Paper Mario series. Obviously, the Thousand Year Door is coming out now, so I really don't, don't even care about this game. I like the story, but the combat just was, it wasn't there for me. Death's Pokemon Shield. Kind of Mario Demacia reroll. It's alright. Sid Meier's Civ 6, not good on Switch. Do not buy this game on Switch. Um, with games like this, I prefer PC, but I've played PS4 version and it's fine. Uh, the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, um, I'm planning on going back to this. Because when I've made that videos, video games I don't like that people love, um, a lot of people are like, you gotta go put back and play Witcher 3. So I am, that's on my list. Probably not on Switch, I'll probably play it on uh, PS4. Or on the PS5 if it's compatible. Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. I heard uh, this is a good game. So I bought it and I haven't played it yet. See how many times you're going to hear that? Special Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. I hate this game. It's ugly. It's The colors are all off. They're just, it's, it, it feels like an acid trip <laughs> compared to the original. And it runs very poorly on Switch. Don't get the Switch version. Uh, Final Fantasy X, 10, 10 2 HD Remaster, haven't played it, couldn't tell you. Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age, haven't played it, couldn't tell you. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Um, this is a beautiful game. I mean, gorgeous art style. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, definitely a good remake. Um, and I think Link's Awakening really needed it. Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. Um, a, probably the best Warriors game on Switch. I haven't played Fire Emblem Warriors, I think, or Fire Emblem Warriors uh, Three Hopes. Um, I think I just got Three Hopes recently. That's coming in the mail. Stay tuned for that on an unboxing video. Um, but in my opinion, this is the best Warriors game on Switch. It's got to be. Uh, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, great game. I really, really enjoyed that. Um, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Didn't finish it. <laughs> Didn't really grab me. WarioWare Get It Together. Um, I think I said this literally yesterday. But the new WarioWare game just came out. Have you got to get it yet? I heard it was actually pretty good. Uh, but Get It Together didn't really it didn't really stick with me. It wasn't. It's just WarioWare games have been so like average recently. But I heard Move It was actually pretty okay. New Pokemon Snap is beautiful. Um, great game. Um. Didn't finish it, but from what I played, it was amazing. Um, I wasn't really, I didn't really play the original, so the new play one snap was like, it was, it was neat. It was neat. Lego Harry Potter Collection. I like this game. I usually liked, I had Lego, I really liked Lego Harry Potter games as a kid. Um, playing them now, it's like, yeah, they're there. Um, Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. 
haven't played it yet. I did play the original Doki Doki, but not that one. Very, very dark games. Uh, not recommended for most people. <laughs> if you like it, good on you. But they're good. They're good graphic novels, but not really meant for everyone. Nickelodeon All Star Brawl sucks. <laughs> I don't like that game. Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. Yeah, it's good. Um, Sparks of Hope. I didn't play. Didn't play Sparks of Hope yet, or buy Sparks of Hope yet. Um, but the first one's good. I haven't heard anything. I've, I've heard anything. I haven't heard anything terrible about the second one. But also, I haven't heard anything like, "Oh my god, this is amazing" about the second one. Same goes with the first one, honestly. Uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl or Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Terrible games. Uh, probably the worst that Pokemon's ever done, even though it wasn't developed by them. It was awful. Terrible. Metroid Dread, though? That's it. That's the game. Um, that's a really good game. Uh, Doom 64. Another limited run game that released, uh, that released physically. Um, yeah, it's fine. Catherine Fullbody. I really want to play this. Play this because I heard really good things about the original. And I got the, the full body, which is like the enhanced one. Atlas does this weird thing where they don't release DLC for games, they just release updated versions of the games. Like they have Persona 5, they have original, they have Persona 5, Persona 5 Royal. They have Catherine, Catherine Full Body. So I don't know why they do that. It's kind of annoying, but I never played the original Catherine, so I'm really interested to check out Full Body. And right at the bottom, Mario Maker 2. We all know my opinion on this game. It's fine. Um, not amazing, not great. I really prefer the Wii U version, but the Wii U version is dead, so who cares? <laughs> and that is, oh, and that is it. Um, wow, this was a long video, <laughs> but I want to thank you all for watching. Um, that's everything that's on my Switch at the moment. I do have some games coming in soon, uh, but that's everything that's on my Switch right now. So I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.